Change is inevitable, but does it always have to be so hard? Why is it so hard? We know it's coming, we know it has to happen, but do you ever just stick your feet in the ground and try to keep it from happening with all your might? I'm looking at a high school yearbook, which brings back so many thoughts to anyone who looks at it. Here I'm looking at, the, at a page of athletes and their awards and their game shots and, and team photos. And as I look at this, I think about the first reason that change can be so hard, which is a false sense of security. I look at these athletes and they probably think, some of them think, that who they are in this sport is their key to the future. As we all know, that's going to change. <laughs> that's not going to be their reality. They might think that what they have in their sport is going to be so awesome for them, but maybe their sport has them more than they have their sport. And this is what it can be like in our life as well. We don't want change and we're holding on to it but maybe what we're holding on to, maybe it has us in its grip more than we have it in our grip. So let's talk about a second reason for change. I'm looking here at a picture of high school seniors. It's their senior picture. You know what this looks like. Perfect photos. They all look like they're going to be the president of the United States, doesn't it? The perfect uh, look, the perfect outfit, everything's perfect. They're full of excitement about the opportunity of their future. The second reason change is so hard is the fear of the unknown. Why is it that high school seniors can take these pictures so boldly? Their entire life is about to change and they're like, let's go. Get me out of this place. Let me leave the city. Why is it that human beings at this stage in life can be so excited about the opportunity of change? But what happens to the 30-year-old and the 40-year-old and the 50-year-old and the 60-year-old? We don't look at it that way, do we? How come the excitement of opportunity instead is replaced with the, the threat of the unknown? It might be because as we live our life, we face pain. That I did something and it brought pain, so I have to make sure that doesn't happen again. I tried something, it didn't work, I need to make sure it doesn't happen again. So the fear of the unknown can be a reason why we can't change. And a third one, as I look at this page, this is a page where all of the seniors put their future plans. <laughs> now, this is fun stuff. You got a kid here, here who had this great plan that he made up the day before he was supposed to get this assignment turned in. The guidance counselor said, hey, what are your future plans? Tell us by tomorrow. And he made something up. Here's someone who had a plan that sounded awesome. They never did it, but they did something else and it's even better. This is all over the page, and chances are maybe nobody on this page is doing what they said they were going to do, which, by the way, is okay. That's totally okay. But it brings me to a third reason why we're so afraid of change and it's so hard. It's because we feel like we need to control the results of our life. If I have to control the results of my life, one thing is for sure, I can't change. Because change always brings elements that are out of our control. It's not possible to change without change. Thus, a third reason change is hard is the, the, the idea that I need to control the results of my life. The reality is we don't control the results of our life and life is actually better if we don't. Let me show you one more book. This one is a family memory book. Now that's a whole nother level. Here's a picture of me and my daughter when she was about seven with a queen's crown on her head for some event. And 
my two sons and their favorite outfits. And when you think about family, change is hard because we don't want anyone in our family to be hurt. And instinctually we think if we don't change, no one will be hurt. But what if we don't change is what causes hurt? You see, the beautiful thing about change is it exposes us to new opportunities, but we can't know the new opportunities until we change. You can't know the good that's going to come from change until you change. I think we all wish that we could see into a crystal ball and, and know what's going to happen when we make a change, but it doesn't work that way. We change and then we see the results that come from it. I would also say this about change. We want to hold on to what we have, but when we change, we look back and see the things we needed to leave. There were things in our life that we needed to leave. It was holding us back, but we don't realize it until we leave. And then we look back and think, you know what? That was holding me back. Change is inevitable. It's also awesome. It's going to happen with all of us. I want to give you just a couple thoughts, a couple pieces of wisdom for how to think about change and how to approach it. You have people in your life that you know, like, and trust. And they know, like, and trust you. Lean into those people and let them be a part of the conversation about change. There's no bonus points for making change on your own. Lean into conversations with people that you know, like, and trust. And the second thing I would say is, when we make change, it might be occupational, it might be a different home, we might be moving our, our, our family across the country, but the things that matter most we can take with us, like our values, the values, what you believe, who you're designed to be as a person. Those are the things that matter most. And no matter what kind of change happens in your life, the values that have held you through the course of time are the values that will hold you together in that next season of your life. Change. It's inevitable. It's always going to be a little awkward, but it can be the most powerful thing we do in our life is change.